Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem thirty-two in chapter twelve. Chapter twelve is about static balanced. In this chapter, we learned if we want to keep one object static balanced, we must make sure the net force is zero, net torque is zero. Now we look at this very simple、uh, system. We can see we have a uniform lander. It just uh, uh, put knee on the wall, right? On the wall, and then the mass is given. The length is given, and angle theta is given, and also another one is coefficient for the static friction mu s is given. The next one we need to determine the minimum, the angle theta to make sure this a、uh, stick is static balanced. So when we want to make sure the stick is balanced, we must satisfy two requirements. First one, net force is zero, net torque is zero. So we draw the force analysis there. We can see first force we have is gravity. Then is the normal force, the wall to the stick, right, horizontal. And also we have a force acting it by the F G Y F G X. This one because we don't know what direction this force is, so we have the two components F G X F G Y, and we know this is L the length of the stick, and this is angle theta. So this side is L cosine theta, this side L sine theta, right? If we want to make sure it's static balanced, so we must have the make sure this F G X because only this point connected with the ground. It's not larger than static friction force, right? It's not larger than static friction force, and then the static friction force is mu times the normal force. So this one. Now we start from very beginning. First one, we can say we want to make sure the net force is zero. So look at the x component. We have f g x. This one, x component, minus f g y, or f. F W. This is the the wall, the force, the wall to the stick equal to zero, and then we look at the y component. We have the gravity and the F G Y, right? So use the up down upside F G Y minus the gravity equal to zero. So there we have these two forces. The next one, the net torque is zero. So how can we do that? We can consider this point has the rotation axis. If we select this as rotation axis, so this force will not bring the Torque now brings the torque because these two forces cross this、uh, rotation axis. Now we look at the gravity. Now we can see gravity is a perpendicular distance. The gr gravity to the rotation axis is L cos is half of the L cosine theta. Agree? Because this length is L cosine theta. This is just a half of it. So half of L cosine theta. Now we look at the force. The wall to the stick F W, for F W the di perpendicular distance the F W to the rotation axis is L sine theta. So we can write it as this: the torque F W L sine theta minus the m g gravity, one half of the L cosine theta equal to zero. We can use the right hand rule to determine its direction. We find it's just the opposite. So from this uh, uh equation, we get the function this one, and then input is w inside. We get is this one. Now you can see we have f g x, f g y. So most important thing is f g x. We say if we want to make sure it's static balanced, it's not larger than the static force, static friction force, right? Static friction force is mu f just mu f g y. Agree? Now we input this is a f g x and g y inside. We get this function and solve it. We can get the function for the theta and the minimum of the theta is zero. Thank you.